Hi again, I'm Carson from Guys With Games. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, our YouTube channel puts out a weekly video that shows or introduces a new game or an activity that you could use in an ESL or an EFL class. Uh, that was really intimidating to me at first when I started teaching, uh, especially in like the after school cram school environment. Games were a significant part of the classroom experience. And I understand why, but at first, uh, you know, I, as a student, I had never really played a bunch of games. So coming up with a bunch of different ones uh, to keep the children entertained throughout your, for me, it was usually a two hour lesson. It was really intimidating. And so I spent many years trying to build up a, a large list of different games. But something that me personally, I enjoy doing in my free time is playing board games, uh, actual physical board games with my friends. So anytime I can convert one of those into a game that we could play, usually much more simple rules, but play that type of experience in the classroom, I'm always really excited about it. And so this one, our first one of 2022, I call it Space Wars. It's based on a board game called Galaxy Truckers. So if you know how to play that game, you might already start to understand what's going to happen here. But basically, what we're going to do is, I like to draw a physical representation of the spaceship that you're going to make two teams in your class. So I might divide my class in half, this side and that side. And you need to draw this 9x9 nine nine square on the board. It seems maybe like that would take some thinking, but not really. You just draw a big square, and inside that square you draw a tic-tac-toe board. And then each of those partitions gets another tic-tac-toe board inside and you're all done. Then you're going to go to the very middle and draw a circle. So the five and the five. I then draw, you just copy this shape basically to kind of recreate this thing. So what do we have? We have the cockpit where the astronauts are sitting. Here's the circle. These are kind of just armature things that uh, hold the ship together and then I have three triangles and those represent the three engines that propel my ship. Okay, around the sides of these squares you're going to use four different colors and then number it off one to nine. One to nine, one to nine, one to nine. It could be, you could jumble these up if you wanted it to be different, but uh, at, let's just do it as simple as possible. Then you're going to need to have two decks uh, you could use UNO cards or you could use uh, just normal playing cards. I have another game uh, that I am using the cards for. Um, but you need four different suits or four different colors. One card each for each number here. So I have uh, one to nine in all red, green, yellow, and blue. And I need to do that twice. So I'm going to set one here and set another deck there for each team. And then you're going to have to think of what is the English activity you want your students to, to practice. And that activity is going to have to be something that can be accomplished fairly quickly. Whether that's spelling a word, or making a sentence using some sentence pattern, or giving an English definition for a word, or something of that nature. It could be asking or answering questions. That's okay. This is a review game. So how do you play? First, I'll choose one student on this side and one student on that side, and they'll do the English task. Normally, it's very common in Taiwan for the students to play paper, scissors, stone, and the winner has an easier time. Maybe the loser has to do the English task. Then the winner can go first. So remember, you have two piles of this, and the winner will choose one card. So in this case, it's the blue five. And the blue five means that, that they are shooting from the left side to the right side at the five level. And so what it hits, what it would hit here is this piece. Now, if this piece is destroyed, then these things are no longer attached. So they also get eliminated. Okay, so bam, bye bye one engine. Then the other team would choose their card and we would eliminate whatever they hit over here. Now you can see if they choose the green one, it misses. So just nothing happens. If it's uh, red, it comes from the top down. If it's yellow, it's the bottom up. This way or that way, okay? Let's just keep going on the same ship because I only prepared one set of cards. So the next two students go. Paper, scissors, stone. The loser does the action. The new card is the green 
five. So this time green, five. Bam, it hits this. And again, this would fall off. Now I said you need to prepare a task that can be done rather quickly. And the reason for that is that you need to play through, I think I averaged it out to be 10 or 11 times. So 10 or 11 times of those students playing paper, scissors, stone and doing some English task. Let's see how long it takes to destroy this ship. The goal here is either to incapacitate it, so eliminate all three engines, or to hit the, the crew quarter. So let's say the next time, what would it be? It would be a green three. Green three, blows up this thing. And then we have a yellow seven, yellow seven misses. We have a red three, nothing. A red five, bam, uh oh, dangerous. But there are no more red five, so that's okay. Let's keep going, a blue four, misses everything. A green nine, misses. A red two, misses. A red one, misses. A green one, misses. A blue seven, bam, okay, done. If this were the first ship to be incapac incapacitated, that team would win. But let's count how many times they had to draw a card. And remember that, that would, each card signifies someone playing paper, scissors, stone, someone losing, doing the English task. How many times? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So twelve times. If this were faster than, than this ship got blown up, it would take twelve times to do it. And that's basically the game. If it goes very quickly, you can set it up again. Just redraw the ship, shuffle the cards, and do it again. If it takes a long time, you can you could cap it off. Like if everybody survives and everyone has a turn, then you both win. But if you win, good job, you get a star for your class. Or reward them however you normally do. But that's how you play Space Wars. And we'll see you again next week. Thanks again. Bye-bye.